Welcome back, hoarders, to Backpack Hero. Last time, we had a pretty good run as uh, Pochette going here, and it's still going. We have Curse kind of hanging out, but we have some good energy economy. I'm getting two from this particular shirt. We have some free stuff from, of course, our wand. We now have a total of three pets. We have Blinky, Kiki, and Lenny here. Each with their own sort of thing. Lenny's still kind of binding to himself, you know. Kiki is our deeps, and she's doing really well with her rage evoking sword or scimitar rather and then our boy blinky here of course is our our tank and he is probably the weakest link right now if he falls like we are completely hosed so let's try not to have it happen as we uh, you know enter this boss room here he now has regen on a ring which is not going to save him but that does help be nice to have two rings each with regen the blade master okay that's not too bad Blade Master, he deals a lot of damage. The main thing to watch out for here is the spikes. You may uh, remember that last session I told you that spikes are the things that will kill your pets without you noticing. Because you'll just ram Kiki, for instance, here into your into the spikes, and all of a sudden she's just losing all of her health points. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to block. We're going to block a few times here, just so we do not get killed. We have plenty of time and we could actually prevent him from doing things here but there's no reason to use a little bit of energy to get rid of that curse you could clunk him to make him do less damage but again you don't have any shield so it would be inadvisable to do so we wait so he hits him for nothing and that's good go and block we're just gonna bide our time until all of these go away because that's just what they do you seem like a decent player i'd hate to kill you well, then don't. You have your own agency. Let's go ahead and wait. There's no big hurry here. Even though Lenny doesn't do as much blocking as I wish he could, he is still more than adequate to take on the Blade Master. Especially if I don't hit the end turn button a little too early, like I almost did there. Alright, now he has no spikes and we can attack with a bang. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and give him a whack. I'd like you to do less damage if you could uh, you know, find it in your heart. Let's go ahead and just go boop, 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 boop. And a couple of these. We're doing 13 damage with those. You still got 300 health to go through. Let's go. I could have zapped him with that the whole time. Oh well. And I also had one more zap. It's fine. You can use that zap this turn. Go ahead and whack him again. Boop. That weakness is really good, especially for these single targets. Do that before I forget. Let's use this the max amount of times. Let's watch those numbers ever increase to 30. These things are doing 22 each, so they're almost equivalent to another strike of the scimitar. All right, we're done here. Good work there, Kiki. It's back with a with a vengeance. Listen, Shield Spirit. I just took you to be nice last time. All right, that's tempting. One thing I didn't mention also is like the effects of these relics only affect the backpack that they reside in. So there's no way I could even make use of this in her backpack without taking the space that it's currently in. Also, that's not a great thing. So uh, probably gonna use that for money. We have some stuff that makes bows better. No, these pets really has a whole lot of room for bows. So that's not gonna happen. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and first exchange one of these out. You can go ahead and hold on to that. And then we'll go ahead and... I might as well give you that, too. There you go. Alright, what's in the box? Uh, middle finger. Okay. Do I want to get more max health? Yeah, sure. I probably should have a little more buffer than just having five health. Probably advisable. Probably don't want to die an unceremonious death. To something fucking stupid. Because I can die from spikes too, right? What's in the box? Aha. Uh -huh. We have a log that gives you herbs, which herbs literally do nothing, but if you had, for instance, a... What was it? If we had a scimitar that got, you know, more powerful when a diagonal item was destroyed, that could be good. But... There are more effective ways to make it more powerful, as you've seen with Rage. And we don't need boots, and we don't need this, so it's just all dog shit. All right. 
We have some cultists, we have some cultists, and we have some cultists. I choose cultists. This is when the, sh the stupid, uh, whatchamacallit, it's the stupid curses start flowing. I hate stupid curses. All right, the team has been assembled. Let's go ahead and get you blocking. Let's go ahead and get you whacking somebody. I could whack this guy. Might as well whack this guy, or I could kill him. The order it goes, attack, rage, and then curse. So if I don't want to get a curse, I want to take out this guy. And this is the man knowledge that I have. That said, let's see what we can do with this first. Let's save at least one thing. We have plenty. Now, how much are we doing? 19? Uh-huh. We can whack him a few more times, I think. Plus, I can shoot. Take him down with that. Uh, we need at least one more. So, he's doing 17. He's doing 14 with the Batman Prism. So, we need 31 all together. It means I need to somehow make you die. So, how? I thought you already had that. If I get into a really tough spot, I'm going to throw the ball. So that's my get-out-of-jail-free card. Let's go ahead and throw them. Well, let's see. You do 21 of those, and then these are going to be 13 each, which would be 39. And that would be... It'd be just not enough to make, you know, Christmas come true, unfortunately. Which means you're probably going to take some damage here. Well, he's doing 11 now because we whacked him with the thing. 11 and 14, so 25 damage. That's something we can mitigate. There you go. All right, new turn, new energy. Let's go and get this done. Go ahead and give you a whack now, because you're going to keep staying alive. You're not going to do any damage, so we can just concentrate on kicking ass. Love that. All right, do it some more. There you go. Alright, everyone else is good. Let's throw these. They're doing 20, 20 hit now. Pretty fantastic. Welcome to the largest bow in the stratosphere. That is probably not something we'll be able to take with us because there's not a whole lot of 1x4 spaces in these animals. Like, there's literally one animal that could take it and me. And uh, as much as I'd like to take that, it's not going to happen. So we're going to take another Luckery. Just for the the dream that I can make more regen. There's a lot of dreams going on. The dream of haste, the dream of more haste, the dream of double regen. Switch that out. Hold on to this. The key is looking at me, and I'm saying no key. But there's a chest right here that's probably gonna need a you know a thing. Probably. Not. There's the Necronomicon, which is pretty all right. We also have some nunchucks, which are pretty good for pets, because they don't typically have a lot of other things in their backpacks if you don't want them to. So if you just want a cheap weapon that does pretty good damage, you know, 12 damage plus every empty space next to it, like, that's pretty good. We also have the pickaxe, which just generates gems. It's also huge. It takes up a uh, T-block kind of tet tetromino kind of shape. I don't really care that much about gems. Speaking of which, I'm probably going to be ditching those gems this time. If I can find some way to actually spend them. What is that? Oh, that's going to be a terrible fucking game. Polar bear, honey badger, and a honey guy. We do have a lot of power, but I'm going to have to endure some curses. Unfortunately. I do like that one. It's pretty alright. That's rare also. You should take that. Right? I should. It's not going to provide too much block for our buddy. I'm going to take this back here. They're taking down on our lethal. You're going to lose them, I know. I know. Let's go find the forge. Alright. Let's concentrate on killing you first. There's just a bunch of curses and weakness coming our way. Of course. Not really afraid of weakness. I, I summoned them correctly. I was a little concerned there. Go ahead and shoot them with magic first. Might as well. Yeah, that's all the magic I got. We'll block because you can do that for free. And then we'll go in and whack. And whack. Now you're dead. Good. Now 
will take out this bird. And we'll just worry about the curses next time. Uh, take out the bird with this if you can, you know? Well, you can still kind of take it out with that. In with that. In with these. I want you to whack him one so he's less powerful next turn. And that's good. We're doing some pretty good damage. Let's see, adjacent weapons. Oh no, my weapon, guys. How will I how will I possibly be able to go off? Yep. Yep, thank you. Alright, swag him. Good work. Weakness is pretty great. Weakness is pretty great. Okay, he's still gonna do 13, so let's go ahead and just block again. And then we'll go ahead and attack maximum times. And we'll go ahead and do 20 damage to each of these. And then we'll go ahead and do this. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> and now you're out. Out of life points. Incredible. Alright, let's go ahead and exchange that. Probably can start throwing a few of these mass stones into the fire. We have one that's unique to Pochette here, the Revive Potion, which will bring back a pet with a singular health point. Could be good if it, you know, dies unceremoniously. Also, why is it not so bad? The answer, of course, is... We will sell that right now, so I can... Oh yeah, pets cannot hold that, because of, um... It has a pet for force field on it, so I don't fucking know. That could be good in a pinch. We'll bring it with us. It's apparently common. This is the first time we've seen it, right? Alright, they'll be fine. Alright, there's the forge. Lethal, you left that stuff behind it just died for no reason, I know. I did that for you. How does that benefit us? It does. Haste on a shield, my dude. If we had a better shield, this would be even better, but... You know what? Any haste is... I... I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and go to our boy Blinky here. It's haste. She takes the item, turns it a few times, and then presses it to her hammer. Her hammer is hammered around. Then sparks flying, and you turn around to cover your eyes. When you turn back... The, the slat shield glows with a new purpose. Wow. Good one. Who are we facing this time? It's the dork lady. Spin and see what you get. Spin the wind. What do we got? What do we got? Middle finger? No, oh, that's gonna be a piggy bag. Oh, yeah. There's also a ring of rage on there. Uh, That's pretty great. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. It's not exactly good on this one, but for someone like Satchel or the last person who we have not played as, this can be kind of repulsive. <laughs> kind of repulsive is a great way to put it. We also have this, the Ethereal Whetstone, which use it and whatever's in the column gets 200% damage. On your last battle, that's a good thing to have. 10 out of 10 would always use. Uh, and that's just like for the entire battle. So if we use that, for instance, on our scimitar, the rage would kind of go out of control. So we might be back here. For now, we have a piggy bank, which gives us, you know, two two more gold. A couple more enemies here. We should finish them off. Let's see. Just some cultists and a glory hunter. The glory hunters are another dangerous enemy for Pochette. Is there another enemy that has lots of spikes? Okay, let's grab those. And let's go ahead and concentrate on killing one of you first. I'm not exactly sure who I want to kill first. You ever have that problem? <laughs> I only have another shot. Probably gets another shot. Block. Probably should block twice here, so we will. Before I forget, because you do 16 damage. You're going to do more than 16 damage. You're going to do 19, which thankfully we do. Block again, so uh, that's good. All right, let's kill you. Of course, one fucking help boy. You piece of garbage. Not to you. I should have bonked you with them, but you know. I could bonk you. That seems like a wise idea. Let's give you a bonk. You're going to be the last person we have, you know, fight. And then let's go ahead and, you know, slather you up damage. Almost dead. Alright, make him angry. Like I give a fuck. Okay, so he's gonna do his thing. 
And we're gonna go ahead and whack you with this. You do not have your spikes yet, which is very, very important for you, I must say. Very unfortunate that you do not have your spikes yet. Oh, so damn unfortunate. Our power's pretty good. We get another pet. We, of course, have seen Coco before. A free pet is always good. We have Shiny here, who also has energy every turn. He also heals, which is pretty great. He doesn't have a whole lot of health points, but the fact that he just gets back all of his health points every turn, pretty great, pretty great. Uh, especially if you worry about poison, for instance. He can, uh, as long as he doesn't have seven poison, uh, it's not really a big problem. You also, speaking of poison, we could also get that. Do I want to bring Shiny along? He's also got a very interesting backpack shape. And it also has 10 spaces. That's pretty good. I think we will take... I can't put you in your own backpack. Well, it'll tell me if I do that. Only Pochak can carry this. I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> we can also give you some of these, but we'll worry about that in just a moment. Once I go to Blinky here. Blinky, you have been a good little tank, and I love you. But this guy is objectively better than you are. I'm sorry, it's not you, it's it's him being awesome. No, you don't get the habit. That's for good people. You can leave things in these uh in these animals, by the way, so be very, very uh you know cautious about doing so. You could just leave them on the board, hit finish choosing, then all your shit just goes the way of the dinosaurs. Don't let it happen to you. Alright, that looks great. Finish choosing. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd be taking that just for the money. That's not bad, though. Hmm. We still don't have a good way for him to mitigate poison. It's still the biggest fucking concern. Because if he gets poisoned, there's not much I can do about it. So it's like, I gotta kill things before he's poisoned. Well, I want you to take that. Is there anything else? We have the Mana Stone Bow, which is great. We just want some more... Or if you had something that summoned maybe ethereal arrows, because there is a wand that does that. We don't have that, though. We're not going to worry about that. All right. Got a new friend. That's good. We also didn't get a new space in our backpacking, you know. All right. Tons of money. Tons of money. Fortunately, I can't get another haste on this particular shield because it is a poopy shield. I wish we could get a better shield. I know the one I want. We just haven't seen it. We also haven't gotten haste on a structure yet, which is additionally very low. This is why I was worried about. This is why we have contracted this man to be our new tank. <laughs> this man, he's a bug man. He's Haas Jewel. All right, let's go ahead and get Kiki out there. Deeps. <laughs> and then Lenny, who just kind of does what Lenny does. You know? He's doing his best. One thing about this particular gentleman, compared to Lenny, is he does not start with it. So this first turn is going to be the roughest. We need to block that, and some of those. That's 19, which is... Uh, it's gonna be close. Let's just go ahead and make it not close, okay? We can always use another turn. I did not mean to hit that hatchet, but, you know, misclicks can fuck you. And that's what exactly happened. He was gonna die. I just wanted to make sure that he did. Alright, let's go and whack you with this, enjoy a whack, and we'll go into our next turn. He's gonna get his poison. He's got regen and his thing, which is kind of stupid actually now that I think of it, but whatever. Whatever, man, doesn't matter. It's also nice that I can revive him, and then if he lives the turn, he instantly is back to full health. <laughs> He's kind of ridiculous, is what I'm trying to say. He's got his free energy, so we might as well use that. Whack, whack, whack. Quack, 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 and quack, quack, quack. You get to live one more turn. That doesn't mean you don't get a bomb. Ow! And there's all the self back. <laughs> so poison, not nearly as much of a problem as it could be. There you go. Enjoy your death. Uh, another stuff really appeals to me. We have this giant thing, which hurts you. Not great. Uh, let's see. Reroll. Uh huh. 
Hey, we have that ninja armor that I think we saw earlier in this playthrough in a shop. I don't think he'll take any more items, Luthi said. Uh, Lenny, you are full of space. Let's see if we'll take some new things. Nope. But we got another core. We got another core, damn it. That's who we got over here. Oh, yeah, we did have all of those. Spin! No, okay. Another rare thing, that's fine. Spin! No, 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 no! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> that's all, that's what I wanted. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I remember to use this, this will be really good for our final bag. And that's just extra money right there. Oh yeah, thing floats. That was all was transpiring. I forgot. The electric arrow, it floats. I actually could make a pretty strong bow build now that I have this. But I don't really care about that. Did you have anything else I wanted? Not really. We could get more damage on a weapon, but I'd rather have just rage. It's better to ramp up. Have you seen the power of rage? So let's see if we can get more rage on this floor. Come on, Frozen Heart. There you go. There's a thing laying down there and wait. He's got a bunch of bullshit I'd rather not deal with. What are you? Two living shadows? Let's go. Alright, summon the team. I gotta remember not to summon, uh, not to summon Blinky, because that would be terrible. I need to reorganize those. Don't let me forget. You. Let's just go ahead and empty that. Okay, it's empty. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and use that the maximum amount of times. Enjoy that. Have a bonk. And call me in the morning. They're gonna turn around and go, What the fuck? Who's been bonking this? Let's go ahead and get you blocking. Let's go ahead and get you bonking this gentleman. I'd like him to do less damage if it can be, uh, you know, organized. Which it can. Now we're gonna readjust our targeting and kill you. Presumably. Yes. You'll perish. Just wanted to make sure I should have used my wand on that. It's not a big deal. Damage dealing, I'm feeling very strong, so it's not a problem. Are we going to need to block this turn, Lethal? Maybe. I think I'm going to be able to block most of that just with that. Oh, yeah, we got haste now. I forgot about that. That's why he's got, you know, more strongest stuff. Very good. There you go. All right. A bunch of clothing to choose from. Another one of those. Some free damage. Nothing really worthwhile. Here's another pochette item. You can just heal friendlies alongside you. Which, I mean, could be good. Pets can't hold it because they need it, I guess. <laughs> uh, I will take that if I can find a spot. I don't think I really have too many spots. Let's get rid of that. Here we go. Spot. Spot loop. Uh, did you want that 2x2 two two lethal? I think. Yeah, I suppose I could take that 2x2. Two two. Not that it's... You know what? Fuck these. I don't need these at this point. Most important thing, what's in the forge? Fucking dog shit. Okay. Really, that is the worst forge you can get. Maybe there'll be another forge over here. We can only hope. Because that one is fucking terrible. There's about a billion things I'd like there better than that. Anyway, let's go ahead and progress with this team. We have a bunch of enlightened cultists. And the change cult. Transformation has begun. Oh, damn it, you forgot to uh, remind me to reorganize these things. I trusted you. And this is why I get <laughs> Alright, anyway. We have a little, actually, not that much damage coming in, considering how many bodies we have on the field. So, what do I want to do? I want to kill you because I don't want any curses. I hate curses, they're the worst. Alright, do I want to block some, or do I want to... Well, I definitely want you to perish. That is something I want to have. Let's 
So then use your energy at least for that. I can kill him. We still gotta worry about the rage making this guy strong enough to hurt, you know, a little shiny here. Let's go and give you a whack, a thump, as it were. Oh, there you go. Now you're only doing 10 damage. Let's go ahead and finish you off with this. That's good. How much are you doing now? 21. So that'd be enough to kill you. I do need a block. Yeah, block the twice. That's 19. That's gonna be 24 damage coming in. It's gonna be a little more than 24. It's gonna be 28 damage. Is that gonna be enough? No. It is not going to be enough. So I'm gonna have to use my bullet here to actually make... No, wait, 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 lethal, wait. You do have, you know, a few more damage with this. You have 42 damage. That's not enough to save Christmas, though. Not enough to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. But there's more. Call now. We, we still have these hatchets. I forgot. How could you forget about the hatchets, lethal? There's a lot going on here, okay? It's not my fault. Actually, it is. I started this adventure. So they're going to power him up. I'm not really too concerned with that. We'll go ahead and block. He'll be able to survive that. I'm not concerned. Especially with his ability to regenerate. Alright, let's concentrate on killing you fools. 14, I think. One of these and one of these. And you can get whacked. Whacked. And then, boop. Go. And you can thunk him, and now we don't have as much uh, too much to worry about right there. There you go. Alright. Now you're dead. See, this, this is the thing that's nice about Poche, is like, once you get to this point, like, you just know that they're dead. Another one of those would probably be good. We just saw when I might have used one. Unfortunately, our bricks are just as worthwhile as bricks at this point. Uh... Thank you for reminding me. We'll go ahead and get him switched out. And we'll go ahead and get some more bolas. Just in case I need to tell someone to go fuck themselves, those are always nice. These little squints. There is no forge on the map. Alright, let's continue. We have some change cultists over here. Similar group to the one we just went into, but these guys are like, you know what? It'd be nice if we could just absolutely destroy Nate your face. You know? You'll like that, right? Uh, no. Might be best for me just to sit tight and actually block this turn. Let's see, what do we got? We got 16. 16 plus 8. So that's 24. Plus another 15. So 39. And then plus another 16. 39 plus 16. 55. All right, so 55. I have four energy right now, which is not enough to make that dream come true. Even with the haste. Well, that means one of you have, it just has to die, and I might have to throw a boa as well. All right, let's summon the rest of the team. It's still pretty energy efficient. I'm just having to spend one energy to get Kiki out of here, which is fine. All right, Kiks. Go ahead and get one of these, one of those. That's all your energy used. We should probably consider giving you some energy. A little bit. There you go. That'll be enough to at least mitigate some of this incoming damage. You may have to revive your ass, by the way. Uh, go ahead and give me a zap, a zap, and... Damn! <laughs> damn, damn, damn. 19? Try not to die on this turn, because it'd be really embarrassing. I don't want to use my bolas. Man, it might be the time. We can mitigate that, and I can use the bolas if it gets to that point, okay? Take out him, and we're going to keep centering on you. going to have to use at least one bolas. We're gonna use some bolas on these, so we don't have enough energy to make this happen. All right, you bola, 
Let me make it with fewer bullets. Now just use them both. That's what they're there for. So he's gone to sleep. He's gone to sleep. Now we don't have anything to worry about. There we go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, so 20 damage coming in. That's a little better than, I don't know, 55. Can I kill you with this? Not quite. Very unfortunate. You can't kill him with that either. So it has to be you, huh? Alright. It's worthwhile, I suppose. Let's kill you. Put your block on before I forget. Okay, 25 coming in. I think you can easily kill this gentleman. That's not a problem. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And you can give him a clock. I'll give him one of these. Even back here, it's getting a little tight on these en uh, engine ups. Which is a way to call them, I suppose. A paladin sword that sits there. That's not too bad. How much? It's only got two forges. It's kind of garbo. Alright. I should probably sell some of this garbage. Uh, anyone else got space for this? Thanks. So. Oh, actually. There you go. That'll do. Do we have a shop? Hey, there's a shop. Hey, that's, that's tempting, but it's not really gonna help us. That's not gonna help us. Uh, let's look for Lennels here, Mr. Lennelsworth. That's for you. That's probably going to save our ass in this final battle, so let's not throw that away. Please? We got 115 money bucks, and I don't know where the fuck I'm going to spend it. We also are a fair distance away from our next level. I'm not feeling super great about this particular run. It's not the worst I've ever had, but it could be stronger. If I could just find one force that could give me rage... Well, of course, we can't have that. That is a weapon. That could be useful. Eh. Well. Hmm. We can't hold on to that either. Just give me the. Just give me that thing. I'll think about some tra some strategies we might do. My house looks like a hat. Let's. Well, you have a red hoodie? That'd been good if we had found it maybe a half century ago. That could be good, actually. Let's see if I can snag that without getting fucked. Uh, uh, uh. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, done. So this is the electric wand. It's... When you look at next to this, you're like, it's the same weapon label. It is. This one does just the same damage for, you know, half the energy. Seven compared to 14. But this one is better for forging. This one has one forging. This one has two forging. And if we take it up here, we can put some of this money to fucking work. Not a whole lot of it. I wish this was damage I was put on it instead of poison, but, you know, that's where we are. That's where we are, where we're putting poison on things and just rooting for uh, the best. I'm not sure if I want a curse for you right now, to be honest. A rare item at the same time. Uh, one moment. Let me see if I have... Oh, I'm really fucking tempted, actually. I should have picked up that slat shield. That would have been good. Uh, you don't happen to have any shields in you. Okay. Can we luck out into another shield? No. I have been observed. I don't want to fight you. I really don't. So I'm probably just going to skedaddle here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to fight the dork lady, and we are going to finish off this run. Let's go. It's going to be a little longer episode, but we're here at the final boss. So let's do this. Maybe poison will save Christmas. But, uh, we can pretend. It's gonna be doing two poison a shot, which isn't the worst. Let's summon you. Summon. 
summon and summon. Let's go ahead and exhaust this while we're here. Ah, that's gorgeous. That's actually not bad. We're only going to get a few more each turn, but that's not bad. Lenny, Plunk. There you go. Good work there, Lennels. It might be advantageous for us here to actually slap up. Which is what I'm going to call it whenever we use our slat shield. Because since we have these, like, that's going to... I should have probably gotten a few more of those to really see the effect of a uh, of haste. Because whenever we haste, it makes these, like, double effective, triple effective. So now it's like, oh, they're doing three blocks instead of one each. So that goes up real fast. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use all my energy for that. You're going to whack her, as is your birthright. And then we're gonna we're gonna do it again. Just gonna give us this freeze effect. Which freeze makes you take more damage. Receive one additional damage for every freeze counter you have. So we are still in a race here. Let's give her a little more of that. Uh, I want you to use this, so I'll maintain your haste. And let's actually budget a couple more of those. It's always good to do that. We're not in any real danger yet. Plunk you. You're doing absolutely jack shit now. But now we have like 39 blocks. And things are looking pretty great. By the way, I think the freeze only affects you once they get through your block. So if they're just hitting against the block, you have nothing to worry about. Which is great. Okay, let's hit you with that. Let's maintain our haste. I think we're at a good level now, so we're just going to go ahead and go boop, 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 boop. We'll probably be dead next turn. And then we'll go into phase two, of course, because why would it? that weakness, even though this is just a common weapon, fantastic. Especially on this big, stupid target. It's not even doing any damage anymore, poor thing. It's still got 17 poison on there. That's been doing some work. Let's give it a little more of that weakness. 24 on the block. Let's do phase two, shall we? Bam! Phase two. She's gonna give a curse. She's gonna summon some assholes. As one does. Go ahead and give you some of that. 32 damage with each of those. That thing's up to 42. She's almost dead already. Oh no, it's gonna cost us money to get rid of it, guys. Oh no, how will we survive? Is it is it disabling things? No, it's not even disabling. We'll pay the time to your curse. <laughs> like I give a fuck. You're gonna hit me some, with some vampirism damage? What the hell? No one gives a shit. You're gonna also summon more baddies. You know what? You can keep your baddies. Neither one of them's actually gonna attack me for some reason. So, you know what? Bam, 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 bam. It's just 47, 49. And bam, bam. I said bam, and the bam. Uh, we're just gonna go now. We're not getting paid. Not so fast, you little bastards. Not without some poison, not even. Alright. Easy peasy. I think that was a pretty good demonstration of how rage is just super awesome. Even on one thing, which was our, our scimitar. And that thing wasn't even all the way, you know, yoked out. It only had two of possible three rage counters on. It could have been even more ridiculous if we'd had the money or if we had seen a Lucky Forge. Anyway, let's look at these stats here. We had some item seen and whatnot, some energy used. 71, 66 damage. Uh, as far as health loss, we lost six, even though I had only five health points at the beginning of this, so that's interesting. And we healed 15, which is probably, uh, it must count our pets in there too, because I definitely didn't heal 15 by myself. I swear to God. All right, come on. Come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shield spirit. You hear a chanting from the halls of the dungeon. Darkness that has enveloped or, huh, or dairy is being lifted for undisclosed reasons. You decide to start again for a new challenge. So I hope you enjoyed, folks. That was Pochette, who is undoubtedly most difficult character in this game and that was a pretty i'd say it was an overpowered run that was an underpowered run if it was an underpowered run 
it would have been just dead. It's very easy to lose a run as Punch-In. I hope you enjoyed it, and next time we'll play as the final character, Craig. I'll see you then.